this reminds me of something that I've recently got into. I've really started to, to dive into some philosophy more and more. Uh, mm-hmm. as, as in recent, I'm not sure you're familiar with with Karl Popper by chance. Uh, vaguely, but you can remind. So Karl that. Popper, his his biggest um, idea that he was a, a, a huge proponent of having a, an open society because an open society is what's best for democracy. Because yeah. short short of it's um, basically the whole idea behind Popper is that he wanted people to you know tolerate even the intolerable short of like you know you know basically like like dangerous activities more or less if, if someone's advocating for it no uh let's let's go kill these people it's like no 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 that's that's uh, we're not gonna tolerate that at all you right, know that, that, right. that's that that's like the, the limit the line of demarcation if you will right. with Karl popper and he was highly critical of, of people like hegel and marx um mm-hmm. and i think even probably if i remember correctly well, I, well no actually foucault came later but still he was very much basically in a nutshell he was a guy who was like anti-frankfurt school um mm-hmm. which frankfurt school's obviously been, been coming up quite a bit nowadays uh, in one way or another, and I, I think that's just a really interesting thing. Or, or just, it, I, I recommend those of you not familiar, just look into Karl Popper. He's, um, I think his ideas. Are, personally, I, I, I like his ideas a lot, and I think what that's what we need today is people who are just tolerant of each other, just open to working to each, with one another, and just being accepting of each other. Um, yeah, I, I totally agree with that. I think you know we want to we want not just an open society, we want a transparent society, and it's right. so much better for our psyche, for our society, when we're just able to be open and say, this is what it is. Let me do my thing. You'll do your thing. Totally fine. Uh, except for, like you said, those certain lines of demarcation, which we all agree on, um, you know, murder and, you know, now some of these lines of demarcation, I think are being, the goalpost is being moved. Um, but that's, that's a separate conversation. I can talk about, for example, like age of consent laws in, in California that are getting moved for, you know, boys. You yes. know, I mean, that's, that's like a, that's like a thing where I thought we had a, we thought we had an agreement on this. I thought we all came to an agreement on this right. and now you're moving the, you're moving the goalpost, right? Right. So there are some areas where our society is, is fracturing because we just can't come, we can't come to these uh, mutually agreed hard lines. Uh, and it seems like a lot of those hard lines are being attacked and being pushed. Right, so right. What's, what was what was really fascinating is that this last, last election um, on, on, you know, the ballot was to repeal basically California civil rights. Uh, it was yes. basically to repeal affirmative action, which yes. which was pretty astounding. Fortunately, it, it got voted down, which I was really happy to hear about do that. You, but do just, you know why they were doing that? Uh, what, I mean, I would... I'm not in their heads necessarily, but I know. Oh no, it's pretty clear. It's very yeah. clear. Oh, um, oh yeah, no, no, it has to do. It has to do with. Oh no, no, I know why. What, what, what the initial objective was was basically to to hire specifically based on based upon race is what it was. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah and, that's and, what to, it was. and to discriminate against white and Asian students. So right. uh, students and other people, for example, they they view um, you know Asian Americans and and Caucasian Americans as privileged. So you know equity requires that you don't hire you know in an equal way. You hire in an unequal way. Right. So to force to mandate unequal hiring to make up for perceived past inequities. Correct. And this is suddenly going to fix everything because now we've got, uh, um, you know, now we've got these requirements in here to make you do these things. So that's why they want to repeal it because they, they don't care about equality. That's the, the language shift. Language is important. That's why you do not hear about equality anymore. You hear about equity, which is a totally different concept uh, perceptually than uh, equality.